Shots fired in an Ocala neighborhood. Nobody was hurt, but police say people living in the area were lucky that all the bullets missed. Watch News Dave McDaniel looks at how the shots appear at this point to be random and what investigators need to put a stop to it all. The woman living here is too freaked out to talk about last evening's ordeal, but she says she was backing her car out of the driveway about midnight last night and she saw a black sedan come around that corner. It flashed its lights at her, so she waited for it to pass. She says she saw a muzzle flash. Next thing she knows, she's got a bullet hole in her door, also one right above the gas intake. I was backing up like the driveway, it was shooting. That's the emergency call from the woman trying to leave her own driveway. I think it hit the side of the car. She wasn't wrong. Two bullet holes photographed as evidence. Another caller to 911. Sound like it was hitting the door and hitting the windows. It sounded like it was just aiming at the house or the house was out of, I don't know. I'm just scared. Ashley Blunt lives right next door. I thought somebody was knocking on the door, but I guess they didn't, and I heard two gunshots. Siobhan Drawn was driving the car, which was shot. She told police that she didn't have any idea who it might be or what reason it might be. The fact that she was in the vehicle driving and managed to not get hit is very, very, very lucky. The issue involves more than the woman in the car. Police say the entire neighborhood was targeted late Monday. The risk wasn't just to the person in the car. There were, you know, bullets being fired from a vehicle in motion. They could have gone towards any home or any person in that area. Police are always saying if you see something, you should say something. And definitely, they feel they need more tips to figure out who was in the car when those shots were fired. Reporting in Ocala, Marion County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.